Hey, welcome to another DCS video. And today I will be showing you how to compete against opponents that outperform you in the BVR category, uh, like the Hornet, the Tomcat, and the F-16. And how you can come out on top when you're fighting in planes that can't compete, such as Mirage, or planes that typically use Fox 1s. So in this first engagement against the F-14, I know that I am at a disadvantage in regards to range, and I know that I need to close the distance in order to at least fight in my arena, or the area in which the Mirage, the Mirage's strong suits sort of come into play. And what you'll see is that once the distance is closer and I start to get locked, what I do is I'll notch and put myself in a position where I can degrade the enemy player's situational awareness. Now that we've successfully gotten off the bandit's radar, I wait until I believe the closure rate has increased, and I turn back in to see if I can pick up the bandit. And nine times out of ten, they're obviously a lot closer than they were before, which puts me in a good position to return fire from an unexpected area due to the decreased situational awareness on the bandit's part. So at this point, I have notched the missile and I'm back in that zone, that gray area where he's no longer detecting me. So now I have to decide, do I want to push him again and risk getting shot at, or do I want to be patient and wait for that closure rate to increase and then turn back in? And what you'll see is I wait, I turn back in, and I'm rewarded for that. So in this engagement, I'm going up against an F-14 and a Hornet, and I'm going to use the exact same tactics that I used in the first engagement to successfully engage these two aircraft. Uh, I'm not going to give a step-by-step -step on what I'm doing, uh, but if you watch, you'll see similarities in the first engagement based on what I do in this engagement, and it's mostly just looking at the distance, realizing it's not close enough, getting into the notch since there aren't there aren't any hills or any kind of terrain I can use this is the only thing that I can use to get close especially over an open environment like this and you'll see what that puts me in a position to once again degrade their situational awareness and getting close to where I can use my uh, my fox ones and take advantage of their speed and agility to come out on top
Dodge 51, Overlord 11, Bra 172, 4100, at 20,000, flanking. Dodge 51, Overlord 11, Bra 277, 450, at 35,000, hot. Dodge 51, Overlord 11, Bra 175 for 100 at 20,000 flanking. Dodge 51, Overlord 11, Bra 173 for 100 at 21,000 flanking. Dodge 51, Overlord 11, Bra 230, Fort 170, at 40,000, flanking. Dodge 51, Overlord 11, Bra 160, 420, at 23,000, flanking. Dodge 51, Overlord 11, Bra 252, 435, at 45,000, hot. Dodge 51, Overlord 11, Bra 166, 490, at 21,000, hot.
Alright guys, in this last engagement, it's another rinse and repeat. I have an F-16 that's at a greater distance that I can really take advantage of. So what I do is once again, I use a ground color to my advantage and I try and draw them in close so that I can once again degrade situational awareness and attack from a position that I can safely do so without being fired upon. Three, Overlord, one, one, bra, zero, nine, one, four, fifty, at forty thousand, flanking. Uzi, five, three, Overlord, one, one, bra, one, zero, eight, four, forty, at thirty thousand, flanking. Uzi, five, three, Overlord, one, one, bra, zero, nine, seven, four, seventy, at nineteen thousand. Five three Overlord one one bra one one eight four sixty at thirteen thousand hot Uzi five three Overlord one one bra one zero one four seventy at fifty thousand hot last engagement I basically repeat the same process that I've shown in the previous engagements I'm coming up against an F-16 that obviously is going to outperform me at this range with this Fox 3 capability so what I do is once again I dive into the ground clutter and use that to pretty to get rid of this enemy players situational awareness and draw them in closer so that I can implement my weapons and bring the advantage back to my side Four, Overlord, one, one, bra, one, three, three, four, 
So what you're about to see is an arrow pop up on the screen showing the bandit that I was engaging earlier, the F-16, and he has no idea that I have a kill shot on him, but before I can take the shot, I'm intercepted by another F-16 that I have to use the same tactics on, and you'll see how that ends up at going. Nine four. 